okay now totally we have created four functions first for adding users then we have just created the function for getting rows then get row single row and we have created get count okay now we are just going to see whenever we are inserting the data we are uh, we are also inserting image okay to insert image we are having a separate long procedure now we are going to see that one okay before that let me just come here Okay, I have already uploaded this video in my YouTube channel. If you want, you can refer that one. Only for explanation purpose, I am just taking this example and I will be telling you when we upload image, what are the things we have to take care. Okay, now here let me just write one name, Ria, and here mobile number, let me just write something. I will just select one image and from here let me just select this one. Let me just click on submit. It is loading here. Okay, now you can see here I will be getting this output okay the image name whatever I was having okay suppose whatever image you are having like image 1 image 2 that name plus this extension okay for this I have already returned the code and I have already uploaded that one for better understanding you can refer or else you can just see this one okay now here I am having this 0 now inside this XAMPP okay inside this temp folder this temporary image will be created and inside this this image will be stored inside this temporary folder and inside this array we will be having two index 0 index and 1 index inside 0 index I will be having the name of the image and inside first index I will be having the extension and here this is nothing but I am just checking I will be giving one array and inside that I will be passing all the extensions like PNG, JPG, JPEG all the extensions I will be passing I will be writing the code for that so that you will understand ok here I am just checking whether that extension whatever I am having here whatever I am having inside my image if that is present inside the array if that extension is present only then I have to insert the data okay only then I have to insert the image or else I should not insert that one okay now let's see how to code this one okay only for understanding I have written okay you don't have to worry about this now we are just going to write the code for that now here I am just going to write here public public function and inside this I am just going to write this one upload photo upload photo or upload image anything you can write inside this I am just going to pass one parameter that is nothing but file because we are just passing the image so I am just writing here file ok if you want you can give any name there is no restrictions on that now inside this first I am just going to check the condition if not empty ok which means that if my image whatever I am inserting if it is not empty only then I have to come inside this one let me just paste that one if it is not empty now first I have to separate the temporary name so for that I am just going to create this file temp path ok you can give any variable names I am just going to write here file temp path is equal to and this file ok whatever we are having from here I am just going to separate this temp name ok this whenever you are inserting you will be getting one temporary name of the image we are just separating that one and we are just storing inside this file temp path now below this we will be having name of the image so for that I am just writing this one file name file name is equal to here let me just write here file and inside this I am just going to separate the name of the image and I am storing inside this variable file name below this whatever size we are having ok if you want you can just give the size or else no need and also I am just going to write this file type file type is equal to let me just write here file and inside this I will be writing the type ok what type my image is I am just creating separate variables for that one and I am storing inside that now below this whatever file name we are having here let me just come here ok now this is my file name and this is nothing but the extension ok now in between I am having this dot now I just have to separate the dot from this one ok this and this I just have to separate for including we have already seen we are going to use implode method ok for this one we have already used implode method now we are just going to separate that one so we have to use explode method now here I am just going to write here file file name ok cmps ok comparing and here I am just going to write this one explode and using this explode whenever I am getting this dot ok in my file name I am just separating that one and here I just have to separate my file name I will copy this and here I am just going to paste that one ok this is how we are going to separate now whatever file name or whatever extension I will be getting as my output ok now here inside this I will be getting the extension now whatever extension I am getting I am just converting into lower case ok so that I will not be having any issues now here I am just going to write here extension file extension 
is equal to now i'm just going to convert into lower case here i'm just going string string to lower and inside this end value okay now first value is nothing but this one let me just come here first value is nothing but this one and second value is nothing but this one so for end i'm just converting into lower case that is nothing but extension and inside this okay my extension will be stored inside this variable so i'm just going to copy this one and here i'm just going to convert into lower case okay i'm just separating temporary name name of the file type of the file and here i'm just separating whenever i get comma i'm just separating that value and here i'm just storing that values now once i get this values i'm just converting into lower cases and i'm just printing that one and that lower case will be stored inside this file extension now here whenever i insert the data inside the database i don't want whatever my image name i am having i don't want the same name should be displayed or same name should be entered inside the database so for that i am just going to change the name now now here i am just going to write here new file name new file name is equal to okay you can use hashing or we can just okay normal we are just going to use this one okay you literally don't have to use md5 if you know better hashing you can do that one but as of now we are just using here md5 and inside this i'm just going to pass this time okay whatever time we are having i'm just going to concatenate this one with my file name okay whatever name we are getting i'm just going to concatenate i'm just doing md5 so that i will not be having the same name of my file now here i'm just going to concatenate with this dot file name dot my extension my extension is stored inside this copy and here i'm just going to paste that one okay this will be giving me the new file name here i'm just going to concatenate with this dot extension okay file name dot extension here i'll be getting this one okay now here i'm just going to create one array let me just write here allowed extension now inside this allowed extension whatever extensions i want to pass now here let me just uh, write for png uh, i want to pass jpg and also i want to pass only jpeg only these three extensions i want to pass whenever i insert the data now here i'm just going to check the condition now here i'll be writing if in array okay if this extensions are present only then i have to insert the data so now here i'm just going to write this file extension in this i'll be getting this extension here i have already converted that one whatever i'll be getting okay this extension if it is present inside this one i'll just paste that one here if it is present inside this only then i have to insert the data okay now here i'm just going to write uh, create one variable upload file directory and inside this i'm just going to get the current directory okay get you just have to write here get current directory and inside this i'm just going to write concatenate with this one now here i'm just going to concatenate with this uploads folder okay this uploads folder we are just going to create now i'm just going to close this one okay now here i'm just telling that if i just get this whatever extension if it is present inside this one i'm just creating one folder i'm just getting the current directory of my folder and inside that i'm just creating this uploads folder now here i'm just going to create uploads okay folder now inside this folder itself all the images will be stored okay i'm just getting the current directory i'm creating uploads folder i'm just keeping that one now i'm just going to create one more variable destination file path let me just write here dest file path okay what will be the destination file path of my image so for that let me just give now inside this now this will be having my file okay this will be having my image i'm just going to paste that one now dot this new file name okay whatever file name i am having after concatenating or after uh, doing hashing whatever file name i am having i'm just storing that file name inside this directory okay now i am having all these things now i just have to move this one so for that we are just having this method let me just write here move uploaded file okay now whatever i have done i have to move this one okay this okay now whatever image i am having i have to move that one so here inside this now this one okay this temporary path this temporary path i will be getting whenever i insert the image now here from here i just have to move to this path okay whatever i am getting this one i am just pasting that one here okay you don't have to get confused literally it's very confusing i know but you can still learn this one okay now inside this i just want to return this new file name whatever i am getting here okay i'm just going to copy this and here i'm just going to paste okay you don't have to worry i'm just going to explain you again i'll save this okay this is the function for uploading the photo inside the database 
whenever we insert the image inside the database we will be having some things okay like we are having temporary name we will be having temporary folder where the data where the images will be stored we will be having name of the image we will be having type of the image size of the image we will be having many properties for one image okay now here i am just separating those properties and i am storing inside separate variables here okay now here using this one i am just taking the temporary name okay wherever my temporary uh, image will be stored i am just taking that one i am storing inside this variable name of the image i am storing here type of the image i am storing here if you want you can just take the size okay whatever you want you can just take that one now i will be having like image 1 dot jpeg like that i will be having my image name so i am just separating from comma once i get comma i am just separating the last part now only jpg will be left and that will be stored inside this variable now here whatever value i am getting here i am just converting into lower case and that is nothing but the end part okay here i'll be having two parts zero array index zero and array index one inside array index zero i'll be having image name and inside array index one i will be having the extension so the end part i am just converting into lower case now here whatever new file okay whatever image i have inserted i'm just changing the name of the image using md5 and whatever time i am having i'm just concatenating with this file name dot this extension now here i'm just creating one simple array and inside this array i'm passing all the possible extensions if you want you can pass any extensions now here i have just passed this three extensions png jpg and jpeg and inside this i'm just checking if inside this array okay whatever extension i'm getting from here the end part if this extension is present inside this one only then i have to upload the file okay so here i am just creating this upload file type and here i am from here i am just getting the current directory that is nothing but php advanced and inside this i am just creating this uploads folder once i created this one i am just creating the destination file path and whatever folder or whatever path i am having here i am just concatenating with this file name okay whatever file name i am getting here new file name after inserting inside the database i am just concatenating with that one okay once it is done i'm just moving this file temp path to my destination folder okay destination path whatever i have created here once it is done i'm just returning the new file name whatever i am getting here after changing that one okay this is how we are going to write function for uploading images okay if you want you can just take the screenshot once you practice this one then you will understand once you understand then you don't have to buy heart anything okay this is how we are going to write the function for that one okay now totally we have written adding users getting rows get rows get count and finally upload photo okay now we are left with this update delete and search update delete and search we are going to see later once we are done inserting the data inside the database only then we are going to see about update delete and search